Put the Gato Vinny. The new epic joy is in Brazil. For me, for Vinny Asioli. So, yeah, one of the best events in Brazil. Vinny Asioli.
yeah, I'd be near Tivoli. Some of the best events in Brazil. This is really amazing. I mean, I've just overcome it happening right now. I can't. Wait, you know, I mean, I was so happy. Nice thing. Oh, it's a So yeah, we stretch in here for the academy here too. So yeah, I'll be gathering this is the best adventure in Brazil. So far, so ah! <laughs> I can't explain how happy I'm just. This is adventure nature of dreaming of all the time when I was like, even in the city of Rio de Janeiro, just in Rio de Janeiro, I was just using the Lara Croft, taking great adventure of dreaming of. I might, I might camp here, camp here and live here forever. Right here. How are we going, old guys? Yeah guys, this is me living off grid. I've been looking forward to this for like years. You know, this is the uh, this is like the dream I've been looking forward to. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this good. But then you took me camping and just like I, I was kind of scared. I thought I was going to get I thought I was going to get murdered or something. You know, that's kind of thing. And now I'm here drinking hot chocolate in the perfect bed, the perfect camping. This is much better than got flash flight and everything. And this is much better than what I was doing two years ago. Perfect Brazilian food, queijo pastel. It's hot chocolate. It's absolutely beautiful. All our bags. Here with my Wallace and Gromit pajamas. <laughs> kind of. But yeah. I'm really happy right now because I was. Yeah, I'm really happy right now, guys, because I was in the city and I just. Wasn't happy. I mean, you see Rio de Janeiro and you think, you just think, oh, it's paradise because just the way it looks in picture, but you don't actually go there and then you actually go there and you see the city and 70% of it is really just miserable. Just like, not miserable, just like you don't feel you can relax at all. That's why I love Florianapolis and everyone loves Florianapolis. Um, look at that view. It's like China. It's amazing. The pictures in this video probably don't, don't do it justice. We have this natural pool right next to us. And it looks like something out of Shadow Colossus. It really is amazing. Um, but yeah, this is the adventure I've been looking forward to. Uh, since I've been like, when I was in England, I just wanted to be like Lara Croft and like Nathan Drake. I've played Uncharted 2 and like, since then I thought, that's what I want to be like. I want to be like Nathan Drake and just uh, live the real life. You know, a woman nature, push yourself, push your body all the time. and. So everyone lives in too much comfort these days and it doesn't don't do anything so yeah I mean, I mean you can, obviously you can enjoy your comfort because I'm enjoying my comfort right now with my chocolate and my past, pastel so yeah but I always push like I wake up in the morning and then you just been hiking and push myself adrenaline you know pushing exercise every single day and this is the reward you know at the end of the day if you don't push yourself then you don't have the reward at the end of the day, you know. If you're just stuffing your face all day, eating Netflix all day, you don't really enjoy it. 
if you push yourself and you travel the world and you push your body and you discover new adventures and you're constantly pushing yourself for new horizons and then you can enjoy then when you relax at the end of the day it's 10 times better obviously i'm just saying the usual that everyone knows i'm waffling but yeah we have the natural pool here and i'm a big fan of shadow colossus and Uncharted and Lara Croft and that kind of stuff and that's what inspired me to do this kind of venture <laughs> and this is just perfect <laughs> Vinny the best tour guide Primero Uno Aventura in Brazil <laughs> the best in Brazil Primero Uno I mean look at this it's like some I'm just so happy and I can't I was, in, I was in the city in downtown and obviously you go to the beach every day and you see, you see pictures of, of it in Brazil, you think, oh, that's perfect. But then you actually go there, you feel the, um, you feel, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You feel the tension and the reason why people call it the most dangerous city in the world. So I come here every weekend and just have adventures within it and just have the best, like, I can't explain it. It's just like the best feeling ever. Um, and he doesn't live in a nice house, he lives in like a kind of favela kind of house. But I've never been more happier. You know, if I, li if I was like living in Ipanema in a hotel or whatever, or an apartment, people think, oh, you've got the best life, you've got Ipanema Beach. You've got, uh, yeah, I have my free out outdoor gym and I go climbing mountains every day and I meet beautiful people, beautiful girls and everything. And all that. Obviously, I don't like Brazilian girls, I don't think they're the most beautiful in the world. I think they're one of the least beautiful in the world. I think that's just my blood type. I'm more into Argentinian girls. Like I said, my European blood. Um, yeah, I don't. I prefer this life, the real life, the real nature, the real adventure. You're going to the city. Everyone's after money. Everyone just wants to use you for money. I mean, I have a nice hotel that I can go to every single day, and I can afford, I can afford to buy an apartment. But I'm always moving. I'm always going abroad. I don't want to be in one place at a time. I don't think anyone should. I think we should all be all constantly moving. And this is real life for me, this is what I've been dreaming of. When I was in my apartment in England and I wanted to adventure, I wanted to be like Lara Croft or Nathan Drake. Constantly have adventure, dangers and that kind of stuff. But this is the tranquility, it's like Bali. So yeah, if you're watching this, I'm in Bali, Indonesia right now. And the path here and the nature, I'll show you on the way down. I couldn't show you on the way up because my phone was broken. Um, but yeah, it's unreal. Brazil, this is what Brazil is about. So yeah, this is why I came to Brazil. Um, not for the girls, I think the girls are uh, probably the most unattractive, one of the most unattractive in the world. People, people, you're gonna watch this video think, you're crazy, the most unattractive in the world, but yeah. They are to me, anyway, but that's just my blood, that's just my type, um, so no offense to them, but they are adorable. They are adorable and really nice and warm. Um, yeah. I mean, I think it's uh, one thing you might not know, but one thing you might, is that Brazilians to me, um, they're really attractive in person. Like you talk to them and they're really warm. You think, wow, she's really hot. It's just their energy because they're close to nature. They go in the sea every day or they have mountains every day. They have this every day and they go to. Uh, whereas in Argentina, they don't. They're just like indoors. They have pollution, smoking, drugs, alcohol. You know, that's that kind of thing. Um, and same with Paraguay. Um, but yeah, but I'm, on their, if you look at their Instagram, all the Paraguayan girls and Argentinian girls, they look really hot and really sexy. But then, Brazilian girls, you would get her Instagram, that you get her Instagram, and then you look at her Instagram and you think, wow, she's not as attractive as she was in person. It's really strange. Like, it's really strange. And it, then you realize it was just the sexual energy that came over. The sexual energy that um, took over your mind and the, the warmness they have. Um, obviously, some do, but obviously, a lot of them in the city, in Ipanema, you feel the tension. You feel the, um, oh, we're Ipanema, we're karaoke, we're the best. And they hate gringos, they hate foreigners here which is the bad side because obviously if it was perfect everyone would come here and everyone would spoil it and you'd be you'd spoil, be a spoiled pig because you think oh i have girls i have beach i have everything i don't need to try hard for anything and that's not what you want because if you have everything then you wouldn't you'd give up on your dreams you wouldn't push yourself you wouldn't get out of bed you know so but this is the uh, this is real life best adventure in all of brazil i've been all around brazil for two years Fortaleza, Curitiba, Belo Horizonte, sao paulo uh, Pos de Guazu, everywhere, all around Guayanas, Recife, Brasilia. I'm Rio de Janeiro, I've lived in Rio de Janeiro for three years, but this, this is me. Escape from real life, escape from everybody and all the bullshit and all, everyone being predictable robots and 
you know, money, sex, money, sex, money, sex, that's all the thing. Everyone following the same thing, following the same regiments. And you just realize, where's the humans? Where's the humans in there? No one's alive anymore, you know? And coming to this, it's like, I feel like you, I'm, in, I'm in the secret garden in Shadow Colossus that you discover. You reach that final level and you, you reach the end game and you realize, yeah, this is all I need. It's all here all along, the nature that I need. Because everyone's killed himself on trying to beat each other, to bring each other to their own level. And I'm at a stage now where I just agree and just nod my head and just... Because there's too much, too many arguments. If I, if, I could get an, if I could stand up for myself every single time, you know, and say the truth every single time, I'd be having an argument with everyone every single day and I would never... It, I wouldn't have enough time to do it, you know? So yeah, just, I just now I'm at a stage where I'm just like, whatever. You know, I've got nature, uh, I'm gonna go on and just keep my mouth shut because people that need to argue, they're at that level below you, you know? So just, they're now that stage of enlightenment and stuff. Well, not enlightenment, it's, because everyone is there, still has their own path, you know? Everything. So yeah, I've seen the truth, you know, I'm going through the hardships to realize the truth and um, we all have a fight. So I'll show you the best parts down here in the waterfall the Nathan Drake adventure that I've been dreaming of and Lara Croft adventure that I've been looking forward to for 10 years and 7 years when I've been trying to escape the Matrix I finally have but yeah it's all happy yeah but yeah thanks for joining us guys um, yeah and latest for the next video I um, I also I travel the world if you've seen my videos uh, about the truth thank you so much and uh, thank you for um, I forgot the names, Black Circle, Omega, and everyone for supporting me, uh, the Polish guy, I forgot his name, Joseph, <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, um, but, yeah, I, I, they reduced my pay, I've been doing couch surfing for the past past month, 30 days in a row, and I'm going to do a video on that, where it's like doing couch surfing, because I usually use hotels or buy an apartment, I'll buy an apartment because I, um, but recently, my job has just cut my pay to until um, they've cut my pay by um, half. So I had to use couch surfing, which I'm kind of glad because I get really miserable seeing my hotel, seeing my own apartment. Like I bought an apartment in Paraguay and it was really big, really nice, and I can invite girls back there every weekend, have hot, really hot girls, you know, or something. If you play the part, if you play the system of the robotics and you be conservative and you be nice and you be secretive but I don't like all the rules if I see things as rules I just see everyone as robots and I stop obeying all the rules uh, just and girls don't like that girls want you to know you're not crazy you want to know you obey all the rules so you, they can control you you know whatever but as soon as they realize you break the rules they think oh this guy could be crazy you know it's just don't call me crazy boy yeah well, I don't care um, I just don't like the rules I think everyone's all the same as robotics and I want I'm looking for real life real fire people who have real passion and don't follow all the, the same rules and robots. No, not robots like other people, but yeah. Um, there is a waffling now, it's just nonsense, but yeah. But yeah, they've reduced my pay for about a third, so I've been traveling around the world for 10 years, going through many hardships, I've been homeless many times. Um, if you gotta go through the hardships though, if I just gave up, I would've been back in England, I would've killed myself or something, I'm married to some girl I would've, I would've been like, you know, but yeah. I'm glad I went through all the hardships and I finally reached, you finally reach happiness. It's fleeting happiness, you know, it happens for like, like a day or two where you're just like, wow, I finally made it, you know, I'm really happy. Uh, but then you have to get on to the next fight. The fight never stops. So yeah, so yeah, if you can support me any guys, any way you can, because uh, uh, I'm having to be couch surfing, I'm, but I'm, I'm kind of glad, glad I am because you have to push yourself in hotels when you get too comfortable on own, own apartment. I get too comfortable. But yeah, if you want to see any kind of video, if you want to leave a comment and say, oh Aaron, I want you to talk to Brazilian girls, I want you to talk to Paraguay girls, or I want you to dress up and do weird things, I want you to dress up as Thor and do pranks on Brazilian people, or, or any kind of people, which is dangerous, because, you know, it's not the best place in the beach. I want to do videos where you approach people on the beach, but you just feel the tension all the time when a white people or a foreigner approaches them. Not like Miami, you see all these Americans do all these beach prank videos. You can't do that in Brazil. <laughs> You'll get killed. But yeah, I want to, um, so yeah, if you can support me in any way, if any money, any kind of amount would help me do, because since they deducted my pay, they have been a few times when I've been homeless a few nights, so I've been struggling for food and stuff, so. 
but I push myself. I'm kind of glad I have to push myself because you have to. I, I go. With, I eat one meal a day every 20, 24 hours. Uh, but sometimes I am looking for comfort. So if you can help me out anyway, I'd be truly grateful. Um, any way you can, uh, even just five dollars or anything like that. And uh, leave a comment on what you want to see a video do. Oh, go here, go Colombia, go here, go talk to Colombia girls, go do this. I want you to climb this mountain, do this, do that, talk to Brazilian girls, say this to Brazilian girls. Whatever you want, leave it in the comment below and I'll do whatever you can. And the sun's setting now and it's absolutely perfect and I'll show you the sun pretty soon guys. But yeah, thank you so much and help me out and I'm always here you guys if you ever want anything around the world. Because I get, I get, I get paid uh, teaching English so... But yeah, I'm getting paid a very little now, this is what's in my pay. Which I'm kind of happy with because the apartments and all that, I just got miserable. I need to push myself every single day. So yeah, later guys. You guys, I'm now lost in the woods at night. No, I'm just kidding, I've just returned to the tent from my telephone. But this is really some spooky stuff. Just had to go back for a walk through the woods at night time. To look for my uh, telephone and my camping, but I'm uh, going to go back to my friend at night time. Yeah, this is the stuff of horror movies. This is a uh, walk through these woods. I just imagine something jumping out. It's just went back to my tent and just thought, oh, if something comes out of me, I'd have a heart attack. Because <laughs> uh, my biggest fear is the Blair Witch Project since I saw that film. That's been like my number one scariest movie ever. So just in the middle of Brazil, in the middle of the forest, my pants are falling down as I'm saying this. I'm just imagining something in the middle of the Amazon jungle. The waterfalls nearby and the moonlight is up there. This is the stuff of horror movies. Yeah, this is uh, girls coming through here. This is really. Once on the chance, this is really spooky stuff. But anyway, he's going back to the house. My uh, friend's house. I'm going to check out the coffee beans that he grows. noises all around. You are like howling if uh, an owl or some kind of or some kind of animal than I used to. I just imagine seeing something. Uh, I don't know if I die of fright or have a heart attack or I just run and scream. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, check out my kung kickboxing on him. <laughs> Who knows? Especially when you can't see the floor. I almost slipped tr trying to cross tr trying to cross the river. Trying to cross the water. So yeah, be careful. This isn't for the faint hearted because I almost uh, fell in the river and almost fell down the waterfall. It's hard to cross, especially night time, you can't see a thing. When I did this, when I was doing it in a pet to the Guadachiba two years ago, in Rio de Janeiro, in, in the main city, I walked back at four o'clock in the morning and it took me, the, the two hour hike took me like four hours because it's impossible to see anything in the night time. But they have fireflies. Here we are, the house now. Speaking out, it's like uh, the Blair Witch Project. The number one scariest movie of all time. That movie scared me to death. It's the only movie that scared me to death, really. I don't understand how people can find the exit of all these other horror movies scary when the Blair Witch Project is like real life. <laughs> but yeah, the one on the trail back from Guadalajara, they had fly flies. I wanted to catch them in the jar. Yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, much bigger. Oh, bigger, senor. This is the coffee beans this guy grows. Natural, like he. Café de Tingua. Café de Tingua. Moto Benito, he grows it just a key. It smells delicious. Oh, much delicious, so how bigger, senor. No, 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 it's in the sugar. Fadio. Yeah, two dos. Oh. <laughs> Moto, uh, yeah, Moto Bon value the coffee beans natural. This guy grows it here, natural plants. <clears throat> Jenna, do you want to try? Hold it, Abigail. You can try the video if you want to. Natural, 
Yeah, I always thought the coffee beans didn't look like this. I always thought them. <laughs> I didn't think they looked that perfect, like you see in the pictures. <laughs> it smells absolutely beautiful. Chocolate and a Vini Mai, Moto Delicioso, Cocina, <laughs> a Primeiro Uno, Pessoas in Brazil, Cachoeira do Isaac, Cachoeira de Las Tingua, and Vini Acioli. Muito, muito feliz agora. Look, wow. We have a Mi Bas Banheiro, <laughs> oh, no, no, a Cachoeira de Gas, Nada Piscina. Natural, I have Fortaleza, Petropolis, Ponte Petropolis, and Rio de Janeiro, aqui, muito, tudo mundo aqui, the highest part, muito, muito alto, the highest point in all of Rio, and the sky is going to turn red, and then when it wakes up in the morning, muito sol, mañana aqui, perfecto, I have comida, pastel, oh, it's muito delicioso, hot chocolate, perfecto, so, uh, primeiro tempo, in Brazil, primero número uno in Brazil is for Port Adventure, Vini Asioli, and he's a uh, Mai, he's muito bom, muito simpática comida, muito um, simpática cocina, muito perfeito vida. Uh, primero uno Adventure in Brazil, muito, muito feliz. Camping, so muito obrigado for Vinny. So go support Vinny on part of Facebook. Uh, send the link in the bio. Yeah, in his mind, muitos perfeito pessoas in Brazil. Realmente Brazil. This is the real Brazil. It's like Minas with the mountains. No. This is here in Costa Rica. We were just camping over there. It's like Hawaii, Hawaii, or Costa Rica here. All of Rio de Janeiro down here. Now this is the reward. Finish off another adventure with the perfect dinner. Thanks to uh, Vinny's my perfecto casino. Keep eat feijão, batata, senhora. All you need. And I made some. I made some guacamole by myself. Vinny's little quaint house. It's not much of a house, but it's really peaceful. I feel so much better here than I do in anywhere in the city. Mm -hmm.